Hello everyone, this is Hassan and welcome to my 18th lecture on Scratch Game Programming Tutorial and this is part 3 of our game called Touching Balloon. So if you have uh, remembered that uh, we were working on one of our balloons and last time we have written this code that says if touching mouse pointer hide remember uh, you can change the balloon but right now we are working on the green balloon right now you cannot see the green, green balloon why you cannot see the green balloon the reason is simple because you told the balloon to do something what is it so it's saying if touching mouse pointer remember you are under this sprite okay so who is going to touch the mouse pointer the green balloon so whatever you're doing you're doing with the green balloon okay so that's why you're saying if touching mouse pointer hide okay so you're going to hide the green balloon so now you cannot see the green balloon if you even if you start the flag you cannot see it why you cannot see it because you told it that it will be hidden so make sure when you start the game you want to show the balloon so that means every time you start the balloon will show up because you said that you are going to hide it so if you don't use this show button at the beginning it will be hidden forever okay now let's see what happens so now it says when flag is clicked show our balloon and then set a score to zero it's zero then go to this position then forever keep changing and then if you touch the mouse pointer hide the balloon so that is what the code is doing so let's see what happens <clears throat> so if I touch the balloon it's hidden I still cannot see the balloon why I cannot see the balloon I'll explain this in a minute so one more thing uh, you have to remember that you are inside a forever loop so inside the forever loop if you touch the pointer uh, mouse pointer this is going to be hidden so now what I want to do so after hiding the balloon what should happen remember every time you touch the balloon you should receive a point correct so the point means the score so I want to change the score so you can see there are four options so it says set a score to zero it's change a score by one show variable score hide variable score so what we want to do is change score by one so every time you touch the mouse pointer you are going to hide the balloon and you are going to change the score by one let's see if this works or not so I start the game I touch the balloon and I can see that the score is 12 why it's 12 so let's try again so the score is 9 why the score is 9 and it should increase by 1 correct but it is not doing it we will find it why okay so now uh, remember when you are uh, developing a game you'll see there will, there will be a lot of problems when you're playing with the codes but right now we just want to write all the codes after writing all the codes we're going to fix the issues okay you can see solving one by one so the score is changing but it's not changing by one that's one problem right so after changing the score what should happen after changing the score the balloon should go back to its uh, starting point right so when I touch the balloon or the balloon touches the mouse pointer it actually it makes more sense if I say the mouse pointer touches the balloon but it's the same thing if you're trying to touch the balloon that means the balloon is also going to touch the mouse pointer okay so the score will be changed by one but right now it's not working that's one issue but after changing the score we want our balloon to go back to its starting point so what was its starting point if you look at this line it says go to this 
so that is the starting point of our balloon so we want to make sure that after changing the score by one we should go back to this position so we're going to use this now you can see the x is negative 204 but the y is not so we are going to change this to negative 168 okay so now this is changed so after changing the score by one it should go back to its starting point okay now let's see what happens oh one more thing when it goes back to this position i want to make sure that the robot i mean not the robot sorry the balloon should show up all right so let's use the feature show okay now let's see what happens so the balloon is coming up if i touch the balloon the score is one now it's working fine so what happened before when we didn't have this line go to x negative 204 and y 168 the reason is you touch the balloon the balloon didn't move from the position let me explain this. this is important to understand so if i don't use this that means the balloon is hidden but it's here so if you keep holding the mouse here that means it's it's keep it is touching the balloon for a long time and that's why the score is changing quickly if you hold the mouse here that means the position of the balloon hasn't changed it's here that's why the score is changing by 9 or 6 by or 12 but instantly if you change the score by 1 remember if you go to the next line it changes things very quickly so it suddenly or instantly it goes back to this position and that's why the score changes by 1 okay if you don't have this line and if you touch the balloon the score will be changed by 7 or 8 or 9 or 10 depends how long you are holding the mouse pointer on the balloon remember it's it is hidden but you cannot see it that's why the score changes all right now let's uh, do one more thing uh, one more thing is that do we need to use this show here so you start the game we're showing the balloon but you all also said when go back to this position show the balloon so let's see what happens if I don't use this show let's see if it's if it is still works or not so now it's fine so last time it didn't work why because you are inside a forever loop so inside the forever loop if you don't have the show that means it's going to be hidden forever okay that's why uh, it didn't work even though you said initially start with a show but you were inside the forever loop and inside the forever loop you said keep hiding the balloon okay now uh, remember this code is only for the green balloon but this code will also work for all of the other balloons only one thing will change is the position remember if you go back to the red uh, go under motion you'll see the position is different it's x negative 98 and y 165 so same thing you can uh, copy the code to the red balloon and change the position and you'll see the code will work for the red one and then we can do it for the green one then yellow then purple so I'm gonna stop here for now and if you uh, want to do something by yourself what you can do uh, try to play with this code and see uh, if you can make a score and then <clears throat> try to copy the code and make sure the other balloons do the same thing but instead of using change y by 4 you can use different speeds for other balloons so that will be a uh, homework for you guys so if you want to try you can try this um, so let's stop here and uh, if you cannot do it don't worry i'll show you this um, on my next video all right guys so that's it for today and i'll see you all next time bye everyone